Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lisha B. And in today's video, it is such a good one, you guys. It's how to avoid medication errors. Now, we're all human, we all make mistakes. I have made some medication errors myself, but this video is gonna help you guys to minimize the amount of errors that you make as a nurse. So, if you're interested, keep on watching. So like I said, you guys, this is how we could avoid medication errors. We are all human first, okay? So we are bound to make mistakes. So don't feel bad if you do make a medication error. Just make sure that you follow the hospital's protocol or your workplace protocol to make sure that you are safe and your residents or your patients are safe. So first off, you wanna make sure that you know your 10 rights to medication administration. If you do not know them, then you are in trouble. You need to make sure that you know them. I know back in the day it used to be five or six, when I went to school, it was 10 and I went to school back in 2018, 2019. So I don't know if it changed from then, but I know for a fact that there is medication administration rights. And if you don't know them, trust me, your patients will know them. When I started nursing school and um, I started working as a nurse, my patients said, I have a right to do this. I have a right to do that. I know my rights. Trust me, they will put you in your place if you do not know the 10 rights of medication administration. So you want to double, triple, quadruple check your medication orders especially if you were off during the night and your patient had a crisis there are going to be new medication orders so always make sure you check them even though you had your patient for three four five days in a row medications always change your patient's conditions always change so make sure you double triple quadruple check your medication orders to make sure that you give in the right patient the right medication at the right time Next, we want to keep track of your medication and your dosages. This goes hand in hand with right documentation, which is one of the rights of medication administration. You want to make sure that whatever you give, you document it. So say, for instance, you have a patient who gets Tylenol QID. You want to make sure you document that you gave your medication at 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock and 9 o'clock. That way you know how much you actually gave and what dose you are on. If you have a patient and they're only allowed to get, let's say, 650 megs of Tylenol per day, you want to make sure that you document how much you gave at each dose so that way you don't exceed the maximum dosage given because that will lead to a medication error. You have to fill out all these forms. You have to do all these vital checks. You have to make sure your patient is okay. You don't want to have all the extra work to do on top of what you already have going on for you so make sure you document your medication and your dosages every single time another thing is do not wait until the end of the day to mark off your doc your medications document it as soon as you're done in the nursing world if you know if it's not documented it's not given Another way to avoid a medication error is to make sure that you store your medication properly. This step starts from the pharmacy. So say for instance you have an antibiotic. Some antibiotics cannot be put in fridges. Some antibiotics cannot be exposed to light. So you have to make sure that whatever the instruction says, you follow it to a T. Another way to avoid medication errors is to read all labels properly. Labels are medication labels, doctor's labels, your patient's wristbands. Every label that you see pertains to that patient. Make sure you read it thoroughly. Sometimes you can have patients with the same name. I have have I do have residents that have the same first name and it can get very confusing. So you want to make sure that you take your time and you read each label properly to make sure you do not give the wrong medication to the wrong patient. We have little bright labels that says medication change or name alert. Three other patients that are, have the same name, Mary, or four other patients that have the same name, John. So that is really helpful in hospitals. They do have wristbands, so make sure you ask your patient, hey, what's your name, what's the date of birth, um, and make sure you have the right medication pertaining to that patient. This one, I cannot stress more. Check the expiration dates especially for liquids or insulin or eye drops or ointments. Those are the medications that tend to get missed a lot of times. As nurses, we sometimes skip over expiration date because it's like a last resort. We think that we won't be given expiring medication, but it does happen. So making sure that we check our expiration date helps a lot and it would avoid medication error and incident reports and all that paperwork that we so love to do. Lastly, use your nursing gut. If it don't sound right, it ain't right. If you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. If you feel like it's off, 
it's off. Your nursing gut will save you every single time, especially if it's a medication that you've never heard of or your patient says, I've never gotten that medication before. It does not hurt to go back and check the orders because going back and triple, quadruple checking your medication will save you a whole lot of stress and it might actually save your patient. So if it doesn't feel right, high chances are it ain't right. So those are some of the things that I do to avoid medication errors because I do not. And when I pee, I do not. I do not like the feeling of having a medication error because it makes me feel like I failed my job. I did not do what I'm supposed to do. And it feels shitty, like it feels really bad, especially if it's something that could have been avoided by just taking the extra few seconds to double, triple check. So follow these steps. If you have more steps of your own, please let me know down in the comments below. We are here to help each other. This nursing community will grow and we just want everyone to be a better nurse altogether. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe down below and don't forget to share this video as well. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.